everybody, it's your boy the Kryptonian saying here, bringing you a review for One Piece chapter 657, and I am officially fucking interested now. Like, I was already kind of enjoying Punk Hazard so far. For the most part, there hadn't really been an arc in One Piece I hadn't really enjoyed, but I'm officially fucking interested now. So, you got these big-ass kids at the end of the chapter look like the kids of Giants. Which lets me know that whatever pussy they were popped out of. Like, holy shit, that thing is probably as big as the fucking Twin Towers were, man. Like, Google it. Google it, nigga. But this is what's interesting, right? Holy shit. So you mean to tell me that that samurai, that they kind of rearranged the head, which is so funny, by the way, classic straw hat humor. But the, the samurai whose head that they rearranged and put back together... I'm guessing because the head's there and the legs are with Luffy. Now they got to find the torso. It's just like, what the hell happened to where he's been cut up in a different body part? Wait a second. Let me... Wait one second. I'm, I'm about to Google something. I'm not even going to Google... Uh, fuck. I feel like... I feel like... I Oh, the only reason I can't Google this shit is... I'm worried about spoilers. That's the only thing. I feel like we've seen something like this somewhere. And it isn't Buggy. It isn't Buggy. Okay? Like, I know Buggy can do the chop-chop fruit. But I distinctly remember something happening. God, it's been in this box set. I just can't put my finger on it. But there's something where, like, the body parts and everything were rearranged and shit. And, like, uh, I think, like, oh, fuck. Oh, I, I can, I'm on to something. I can feel this shit. I can feel, I just can't put my finger on it. But I, we've seen this somewhere. So I want to know why the legs are, I want to know why the legs are separated, why the head was in pieces like that. And again, I know I've seen that somewhere. I know I've seen that somewhere in one piece. Like I know it. And it's been recent. Oh shit. Yes, I want to Google, but I'm afraid I'm going to run into spoilers if I do it. But anyway, so like the 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 body's somewhere else. So now they got to put the pieces of the body together. But that samurai, and I had a feeling that he was a samurai because when I forgot the 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 word, but I remember reading that because uh, that has to do like with uh, shit, like with the suicide and everything. And I remember hearing that in that old Tom Cruise movie. Uh, the Last Samurai and, and the Wolverine movie. That was one of the things that got mentioned in passing. So I'm familiar with the term. And what I found really interesting about that is I was like, wait a second. I think this guy's a samurai. And I think for Sanji, that's probably what kind of made the light bulb go off on his head. And when he changes everything around and puts the hair back on top, he grabs it by the stem and he explains to everybody, hey, you know, this guy's really a samurai and you're really from Wano. You're the one cutting all these people up, aren't you? We got a distress call. And Sanji's about to go in on when we get the backstory. Oh, no, no. I'm looking for my son. I would cut down a thousand people if I had to, if they got in my way. And it's just like, Sanji has this look where he's looking at him. And I don't know if maybe he's thinking about Zap at that point. But, you know, Sanji's like, hey, I'll be responsible for him. But now we have, like, the Straw Hats having this moment where they got their helper, okay? And it, it, with every arc of One Piece... I, I talk about it in passing every now and then, but, you know, every arc of One Piece, in a way, follows the hero's journey. And what I mean by that is, like, Luffy is on a hero's journey of his own, right? But every arc, the helper, at some point, has their own version of the hero's journey. And when you just look at how the arc starts and how it finishes, it carries all the stuff from the hero's journey in it. So, I mean, this is interesting. So, it's just like, now there's the call to action here. The call to action is actually with Sanji and them when they have this person that their face has to be put together, the samurai. So, his whole thing, I'm guessing, is going to be to find out what happened to his kid and everything. So, that subplot's there. And speaking of subplots, what's going on with Usopp, man? Usopp sees... This bird-looking chick, and I, again, I don't know if maybe Oda's pulling from the mythology. I think it's the sirens in Greek mythology where 
you know, they're really, really beautiful and they lure people in and then all of a sudden it's like night night. So I don't know if that's what's going on there. I don't know if maybe that's going to be like the final villain for this arc or something. But Usopp definitely saw a bird chick. And I like how when you get like the, the character interactions with Luffy and them, like Luffy's just like, man, it's so fucking hot and it's so cool over there. I'm going to go get some ice pellets. And that's when it's just like, no, he said, I'm going to get, get some uh, crushed ice. And Usopp's like, no, idiot, by the time you get over there, you're going to be cold, you're going to be warm again. It's like, that's some Luffy logic right there. And Zoro, on um, one day, I think he was being dead ass serious. So he says, well, when we get over there, I'll just kill us some animals and I'll make us some fur coats. Don't worry about it. But I think at the same time, what you're seeing is Zoro at this point, partially because he knows the ass is going to get lost. But the other thing is, it's like, hey, that's where the captains want to go. I respect the authority of the captain. That's where we're going to go. I'll just make the most of it. When you get shit and you have to turn in and eliminate, you use your imagination and you make something happen. So I, I respect what Zoro's doing right there. I respect what he's doing on that end. But I just like how this all tied back into what Nami had said where one part of the island was hot and one part of the island was cool. And it just shows you just on this level that these islands... And the New World are completely different than what we got in the uh, first part of the Grand Line, where just the currents and everything were crazy. Now, each of these islands is going to be on some next level shit. Like, when you go back to Little Garden, like, Little Garden had uh, Brogy, and I forgot the other one, but, like, they're, they're fighting each other, the giants... And you weren't really thinking much about it, and all of a sudden the insects hit. And it was just like, oh shit, that's when Nami got super sick and had that fever, and you had to go get uh, uh, Dr. Kareha, and that's how you found Chopper. And it's just like, the islands presented a little bit of hassle, but it's like on the New World, I think Oda's telling us, you know, like every island is going to be on some next level shit, and you really can't put your guard down on this. So I, I like what you got here, and just how it's kind of brought in. And I like how Chopper immediately recognizes the seriousness of the situation. He says, do you think that we're about to be sold? Do you think these are human traffickers? Is this what's about to happen? Chopper, that's what I mean. Like by journeying with the Straw Hats, he's grown up. By going on Sayabody and seeing what happened with Kami, or Kimmy, he's grown up. He's grown up. He's seeing the world for what it really is. And so I like what you see here. And it's just like I like to chart Luffy's progression as a leader and how Nico Robin has grown as a personality. I joke all the time about how in the first part of the uh, One Piece story, Chopper just seemed like he was that, like, wow, I'm so high right now. Like, that's how Chopper used to act. And since the New World, he still has those moments like when Frankie shoots a laser beam. He's like, oh shit, I wish I could shoot a laser beam too. That is so cool. But there's a different level of seriousness to him now. And so, Chopper's grown up. And that's just so beautiful, man. It's so beautiful. But I like how, you know, Frankie, you know, Frankie just steps up to the plate, man. And, and you can tell he used to be somebody who ran his own crew. Because he's just looking around and he goofs off a little bit. And he says, okay, Sanji tried to bust out. Didn't work. Nami's starting to lose the morale a little bit. And... We got this strange talking head, Chopper, Chopper ain't gonna do shit. Everybody move the fuck out the way. He uses the cola blast and gets them out of there. And that's at the end of that chapter though, where Sanji is like, oh shit, you got a kid. And he's looking at him, he's like, I'm gonna be responsible for him now. And you see these huge giants. What's going on with these kids? Are we actually seeing a situation where straw hats are being trafficked? Or in the potential, or have the potential of being trafficked or something. But my chapter question to you guys, this is going to bug the fuck out of me, right? Don't spoil it for me. Of course, by the time you guys see this video, I will have already finished this arc. So I guess you can kind of talk about spoilers a little bit. I'm just going to leave that at the discretion of my moderators. I, I'm going to leave that at the discretion to you guys. If it gets too far ahead, it's too far ahead. Feel free to delete the comments. But let me know, right? And am I right? Did we see something like this before? Because I feel like I've seen this before. I feel like I've seen this in One Piece before, not with uh whatchamacallit, with, with Buggy's Chop Chop Fruit. But I specifically remember seeing 
either like an attack being cut up or guns being cut up or people being cut up and put back together. I remember seeing that. I just can't remember where I saw it. And now you got this samurai with the different pieces and everything. Let me know where I saw that at. Like this, this is why I always say like when I get caught up, I'm going to continue to do the chapter reviews. That's going to happen. But before I do the discussions, I got to go back and I got to reread the manga one time just all the way through up to the current part. That way I can say, okay, now I know. I take notes and everything. But at the same time, like, it's just for me because like, I don't want to be one of those dudes that, you know, when you start talking about the series and shit, and it's just like, the fuck are you talking about? Cause I see that shit all the time with the Naruto shit where it's just like, the points you're making, they got to dress in the fucking manga. The fuck are you talking about? I see you with the Dragon Ball shit where it's just like, wait, you're calling this a plot hole, but this was in the fucking manga. What the fuck are you talking about? So I don't want to be one of them dudes. So yeah, I am going to go back and I'm going to reread everything. That way I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Because I, I, I feel like I could hold a conversation when it comes to One Piece. Because I remember enough of the basic points and the, the characters and stuff. And I know like the main story and all that. But at the same time, like... If I'm going to make discussions and anything, like you got to know your shit. You got to know it, spick and spam all the way through every small detail. Because at the end of the day, like I know how I am. When I click on a comics video or a Star Wars video or a Naruto video or a uh, Dragon Ball video, I know within two minutes of the person talking, if it's like a 10 minute video, I know within two minutes... Whether or not this is somebody that's a casual fan, somebody that's a hardcore fan, or somebody that is just doing this shit for clicks and is reading off of a wiki bio or something. Like, I can tell very easily on what level of the fandom you're in, and I feel like it'd be a disservice for me to have come so far into One Piece and to not say I'm going to take the hardcore approach, because I fucking love the series. But I do know that, you know, reading in the level that I have, I have missed some stuff. So let me know where I saw that at before. But as always, guys, if you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, share. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Have an awesome